to Michael Halderson today about printmaking. We're going to see how one is made and we're going to watch him go through the process. So come on in. How, what, what are we going to do today? Well, uh, we're going to print an etching plate and uh, we're going to print it in blue. I'm going to cut the paper and soak it and it will uh, it'll take it through the press. I'm going to show you the way I do it. Uh, there are no exact ways to do it. Whatever works is fine, but uh, just to get the fine, the uh, the end result that you want. So okay, great. that I'm cutting it to the size so that it'll go into a frame. Okay, Michael, what kind mm -hmm. of paper is this? This is most mostly I use Reeves BFK, <laughs> which is a printmaking paper, 100% rag. And it soaks for about an hour. We're not going to do an hour today, but it soaks for about an hour to make it pliable. So when it goes through the press and the felt blankets force it down into the lines to pick up the image that's been eaten by acid on the plate. Okay, yeah. So we're going to drop this in the, in the water here and let it soak while we're inking our plate. Okay. Today, we're going to use Midnight Blue. What we're doing is we're applying ink to the surface, but in the process, it's going down into the lines that have been eaten by acid, which is your drawing, and you draw everything in reverse. So, okay. these fish were actually drawn going the other way. Okay. Because they come out in reverse when they when they're printed. Hmm. All right, now we're gonna we're gonna wipe this ink off the surface. Okay, now. I've, I've marked the paper here where the bottom is. We want to get that perpendicular. So here's the bottom. Here's the bottom of the print. So I'm going to put him right here. Moving it into position. Okay, that should be ready to go. Usually it's been soaking for an hour. And it used to be that we would pull it out, we'd let it drip dry, and then we'd throw it onto the towels. However, our printmaking professor, Eileen McDonald, came up with this situation where all you do is you put it on a piece of plexiglass with a squeegee, and it takes about 90% of the water out of there, off of there, I should say. Wow. And it saves on soaking towels and time. It's just really a, a really nice process. If the, if the water were not off the surface of this paper, if it wasn't blotted dry, it would adhere to the surface of the plate and rip, and then it's a waste of time. Okay. So you have to blot it dry. So, theoretically, it should come out pretty close. <coughs> Now we're going to crank it. It's already been preset to my etching depth. And you're going to hear the, it'll get harder to roll. That disengaged it. Now I'm going to go back through. Uh, some people will say don't run it through twice. If you don't have enough pressure, it'll make a ghost image. It'll offset it. But usually I like the fact that it'll go back and force down further and collect your image than before. Okay. Now, there's a thing in printmaking called the aha moment. That's when you look, finally look at your print and it's either an aha or it's an ah na. <laughs> so let's hope this is an aha. <laughs> Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs>
There's here fishy fishy. <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs>